during a polygraph examination, uh, the examinee has two tubes placed around his upper body, one to pick up uh, chest movement, one stomach movement, which gives us feedback on, on breathing or respiration. Uh, two uh, things are attached to his fingers or his palm to pick up electrodermal activity. And then a standard blood pressure cuff is applied that gives us the ability to monitor mean blood pressure, blood volume changes, and pulse rate. In addition to that, there's some type of sensory devices uh, that they're sitting on or leaning on that allow us to identify deliberate distortions. One of the first polygraph examiners to review the case was Edward Gell, uh, who in 1978 was president of the American Polygraph Association. Uh, extraordinary credentials, uh, Baxter trained, which is uh, Baxter created the zone comparison technique, which is one of the most reliable techniques used in the field even today. Uh, he came to the conclusion that the possibility of five people telling the same story, passing a polygraph test, and not telling the truth would be a million to one. From 1975 until 2008, I think 10 tests have now been administered. Um, I think Travis himself has taken three. One of the witnesses, I think Rogers, took two. And then four other people who witnessed this were all tested. The likelihood that in 10 tests with three different examiners from three different agencies or, or companies who would probably go into the testing biased. I mean, you would think if you're testing someone about a UFO, as an examiner, you're probably thinking they're lying. The probability that all of these people could pass would be astronomical if they weren't telling the truth. Polygraph accuracy in general uh, is somewhere depending on technique, somewhere between, I would say, 85 to 92% accurate. Uh, to have one person pass a test uh, would be one thing. To have this many tests with this many examiners in different locations, uh, all passing the test, that accuracy rate statistically increases exponentially each time a test is given. So again, to have 10 tests given over a period of 70, 1975 to 2008 by three different examiners. Uh, the chances that all of them were lying and yet all came up truthful is, is close to impossible. I mean, it has to be astronomical. So, as I said, in the state of New Mexico, uh, that is the only state that allows polygraph evidence to be admitted by either side without stipulation. Right next to it, you have the state of Arizona, for example, that does not allow polygraph evidence to be admitted at all. Polygraph, however, is still used in states where it's not admitted by law enforcement and government agencies all the time to help them focus an investigation or to identify a suspect that they want to look closer at or to eliminate suspects from possible crimes.